Hello everyone, I am Sikandar Abu Rakib uh, from T plus 24. Uh, today I am going to uh, show some features of ECMAScript 2015 or uh, ES6. Uh, I am using um, Atom as my uh, editor, code editor, and here I am using a very simple HTML uh, index.html file and here uh, i have added one uh, main.js file uh, here and uh, a, a little bit style.css for index.html okay uh, let us start uh, today i am going to explain uh, class getter and setter so uh, first of all i am going to create a class and uh, in my last episode of this series i explained about the uh, class in es6 how to use the class in es6 so uh, i can give the name of this class is Sorry. rectangle and constructor uh, parameter I am giving width and height and also here I am giving this dot width is equal to width and also this dot height is equal to height and I'm going to set the width set width with width parameter and this dot underscore width is equal to width and for get method with return this dot underscore width this is for the width and same will be for height I will explain later why I'm doing this height 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 and here also height well uh, we are setting um, getter and setter for our width and the height parameter here and in the constructor we are fixing initially uh, and uh, I'm going to uh, set another get method for area because I am interested to calculate calculate the area of the given parameter supplied by calling the function return this dot with 
multiplication this dot underscore height uh, this is the thing and what we can do now uh, class is completed and now I want to create a, in, a, an instance of this class let us create r1 equal to new sorry for the spell mistake and I am giving some parameter here so this parameter will go here and fix the underscore width and height and calculate the area and uh, I need to call this uh, area I am just here creating only the instance of this class now if I go console log and uh, here I am calling the area uh, by r1 dot area not by the full function this is the uh, advantage of using this uh, thing Uh, let me check I have saved it or not then uh, not a number why it is giving not a number okay, let me see turn area th okay uh, before that, uh, let me see something like R1 underscore width. Uh, and underscore height. Okay, width is showing, height is not showing. Okay. Uh, width, height. Oh, I did the mistake here. Instead of uh, putting comma, I uh, put a uh, decimal point. That's why it was not two parameters supplied it here. Sorry for the mistake. So what we are getting uh, two parameters width and height and the area. The advantage of uh, using uh, getter method is that if I would not use this uh, get in, in front of this area, uh, in in that case, uh, it it was possible to manipulate the area uh, outside from outside the class and. Uh, it was not uh, possible to uh, give the value of uh, the class properties uh, from uh, outside the class uh, sometimes it was creating some problem so right now if I want to uh, set the one property of this class uh, like uh, width so how can I do do that uh, I'm going set this property like <coughs> uh, r1 dot width is equal to instead of what I am giving 10 
and r1 dot height i am giving like 15 so what i am expecting so i can give the value here and uh, i can uh, externally pass this value and the area uh, is 150 so this is the things like uh, the class getter and setter we can have the full control of our uh, class methods and class properties uh, now uh, i am going to show uh, some uh, uh, default parameters of a function and how to handle it so we can comment it so i can uh, comment here default parameter okay so uh, let me write a function first function for example sum and i am giving some parameter like a b and c and i'm wanting to return Uh, result is equal to a plus b plus c and if I call this function so what I'll have to do uh, sum and i need to supply the parameter like two three and four and let me see the result uh, i can where my result is equal to this and i want to show it into the console pan log panel console log my result and expected token okay Uh, let me see. What I did wrong. Function sum. Console log. Some ABC. Ah. Okay, I, I put an extra comma here. Okay, so this is the thing that we are getting the result as a sum of these supplied parameters. Now, uh, what will happen if I don't give one parameter here? So obviously, I uh, will not get the result. So uh, if I set here like uh, 5 
and I'm not supplying this the value of C as a parameter then again I am getting the value that means if I set any default this is called the setting the default parameter if I set any value of any parameter here as a default value so I need not to supply it here if I supply it here again then then what will happen like uh, 7 so uh, yes you're right uh, it will overwrite the default value so uh, and by this way we can handle the things uh, and even uh, we can uh, supply the uh, default value here uh, for example uh, 3 and we will not supply it here and it is 10 so uh, by this way we can handle the default value into our function parameters uh, so uh, this is the way that we can use it now i'm going to show uh, rest rest parameter so if i write uh, uh, the same function again and uh, if i supply the value like this way a b n dot 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 and if we try to calculate the value like uh, c dot length and we want to supply the we first we want to call the function my result is equal to sum and we can supply 5 for a 6 for b and any value like a 5 and then again i'm explaining uh, why i am doing this that means uh, except a and b i am uh, supplying additional three parameter here and also i can supply another parameter that is one two three four four parameter i am supplying uh, in addition to five and six that means uh, four extra parameters so uh, what does a uh, rest parameter do is uh, instead of mentioning all the parameters into the argument if I use three dots as a rest parameter it will consider all the parameters here as an array so uh, if I consider that and C dot length considering as a as a array array so I should get the array element 4 so i am going to add this two and i'm removing it from the time being and uh, multiplying it with the number uh, 4 that means 5 plus 6 will be 9 uh, multiplied by 4 so let us see what happens oh i am not consoling it console log my result uh, 
Uh, uh, uh, I, I used one extra parenthesis here. I did not use it. So the value is 44. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4. And sorry, 5. I, I said wrongly. 5 and 6 uh, makes uh, 11 and 11 times 4 is 44 if I change it here uh, 4 and uh, 8 or 2 and if I delete one from here that means 4 plus 2 uh, 6 and 3 multiplied by 3 will be 18 and I'm sorry for the mistake that I made earlier about the calculation. And now, so uh, this is the thing, uh, how we can use uh, the rest parameter. Uh, now I'm going to show you how we can use in uh, ECMAScript F6 the spread operator. So spread operator. Uh, I am creating an array, my array is equal to one array. Five, one, two, three, four, five. I'm creating an array, and I'm also creating a function. Tot total and I'm returning this function. That function I'm returning this array and console log total. I'm calling this function. as again as a function parameter i am going to uh, set the spread operator and the name of the array so you see we are getting the array and we are using the spread operator so this is the way that we can use the spread operator and earlier I have shown how to use the rest parameter and default parameter and before that I explained how to use a class getter and setter so I think it is uh, informative for you if you have any question, please leave it in the comment and I'll see you next.